The early 20th century was a time of great upheaval. World War I had just ended, leaving behind a shattered Europe grappling with economic depression and political instability. From this fertile ground of discontent, fascism emerged, promising order and strength. It was a toxic ideology that preyed on fear and uncertainty. Fascism at its core rejected democracy and liberalism. It glorified the nation state above all else, advocating for a totalitarian system where individual rights were suppressed in the name of the collective. This ideology found resonance in countries like Italy and Germany, where disillusionment with the post-war order was rampant. Fascism's rise was also fueled by intellectual currents of the time. Thinkers like Charles Maurras in France and Gabriele D'Annunzio in Italy promoted ideas of extreme nationalism, militarism, and return to a mythical past. These ideas resonated with a population yearning for stability and a sense of purpose. Benito Mussolini in Italy and Adolf Hitler in Germany became the most infamous embodiments of fascism. Mussolini founded the Fascist Party in 1919, capitalizing on Italy's post. World War I chaos. He presented himself as a strong leader who could restore order and revive Italian glory. Hitler, affected by Germany's defeat and economic hardships, found fertile ground for his fascism. He joined the Nazi party and quickly rose through its ranks. Hitler's ideology, a blend of extreme nationalism and anti-Semitism, resonated with many Germans. Both Mussolini and Hitler used propaganda and intimidation to seize power. They established paramilitary groups to terrorize opponents and consolidate power. By the 1930s, both had established totalitarian regimes. Their regimes marked a dark turn in European history leading to World War II. The consequences of fascist rule were catastrophic. Mussolini and Hitler's aggressive foreign policies were fueled by ideologies of national superiority. Italy invaded Ethiopia in 1935, seeking to establish a colonial empire. Hitler expanded German territory, annexing Austria and Czechoslovakia. These acts of aggression led to the outbreak of World War II in 1939. The war resulted in an estimated 40 to 85 million deaths. The Holocaust, the genocide of 6 million Jews, stands as a chilling testament to fascist ideology. Fascist regimes imposed brutal control over their populations. The legacy of fascism is immense suffering, destruction and a warning against authoritarianism. While the fascist regimes of Mussolini and Hitler were defeated in 1945, the spectre of fascism continues to haunt the world today. Far-right movements and political parties have emerged in various countries, often exploiting economic anxieties, social divisions and fears about immigration to gain support. These movements often share characteristics with their fascist predecessors. They promote extreme nationalism, demonize minorities and advocate for strongman leaders who promise easy solutions to complex problems. They often employ inflammatory rhetoric, spread disinformation and erode trust in democratic institutions. The rise of such movements is a worrying trend that demands vigilance. It's crucial to recognize the warning signs of fascism, to challenge hateful rhetoric and to defend democratic values and institutions. Combating the resurgence of fascist ideas requires a multi-pronged approach. Education plays a crucial role in this fight. It's essential to teach future generations about the horrors of fascism, the dangers of unchecked nationalism, and the importance of critical thinking. Furthermore, it's crucial to strengthen democratic institutions, promote media literacy, and combat disinformation. Holding political leaders accountable, protecting freedom of the press, and encouraging civic engagement are vital to safeguarding democracies from the threat of fascism. Finally, we must remember that fighting fascism is not just about confronting extremist groups. It's about creating a more just and equitable society. Addressing economic inequality, promoting social inclusion and fostering empathy and understanding are essential to counter the narratives of fear and division that fuel fascism. The lessons of fascism are etched in the annals of history. Fascism, in all its forms, poses a grave threat to human dignity, freedom and peace. It preys on fear, exploits division and thrives in environments of silence and apathy. It's our collective responsibility to learn from the past and to remain vigilant against the re-emergence of fascist ideologies. 
we must remember the victims, confront hatred and intolerance, and actively work to create a world where the horrors of fascism are never repeated. The fight against fascism is an ongoing struggle, a battle for the heart and soul of humanity.